Hi everyone, welcome back to Cooking by Zoe. This tutorial is on how to make no bake strawberry cheesecake cups. This recipe yields 10 three and a half ounce tumbler cups. There are three different steps in order to make this recipe. We'll first need to make our strawberry jam sauce and then we'll mix in to make our cheesecake filling part. And then lastly, the crust, which is the graham cracker. To begin, make the strawberry jam sauce. To do this, you'll need to blend a few strawberries in order to get at least half cup of strawberry puree. I'm using fresh strawberries, but if you like, you can use frozen strawberries as well. Blend the strawberries until you get very little lumps left and then go ahead and pour in half cup of the strawberry puree into a medium pan or bowl and we're gonna cook this on medium high. Next, which is optional if you're using strawberries that aren't as red is to add in red food coloring. I'm adding in four drops. Next, add in one tablespoon of granulated sugar you can add more sugar if your strawberries are more sour. Adjust this to your taste. And then we're going to turn the heat down to medium low. I'm going to add in one and a half teaspoon of cornstarch mixed with three teaspoon of water. And this is to help thicken our strawberry jam sauce. Cook this for another one to two minutes until our sauce has thickened a little bit more. And then go ahead and turn off the heat and let this cool completely. Now we're going to make the cheesecake filling no bake part, which has two steps. The first step is to whisk our heavy whipping cream. Make sure our heavy whipping cream is cold. You're going to whisk this on medium high speed until it is light and fluffy. The cream is now light and fluffy, so go ahead and set this aside. The second step to the no big cheesecake filling is to beat in all of these ingredients together. We'll first start by beating the 8 ounce block of cream cheese. Make sure that it is at room temperature. Beat this at speed 4 until it is creamy. Next add in the 1 third cup of sugar. This is granulated sugar. And just beat this until it is well incorporated together. And then we're going to add in our per vanilla extract. And just stir this, just for a few seconds. And then we're going to add in our sour cream, which is optional. And then the lemon juice. And then just stir this until everything is well incorporated. Make sure there are no lumps and that everything has beat together smoothly. So using your paddle attachment, just remove it, give it a mix, make sure there's no lump, put the paddle back on, and then just give it a quick stir for a few seconds, and then turn this off. To this mixture, we're going to add in our light and fluffy whipped cream we made earlier. So half of that whipped cream I place in, I'm going to stir this. And then I'm going to turn this off and add in the rest and then stir it together. Make sure you don't stir for too long or on high speed because you don't want to deflate all the air in the whipped cream. Make sure you just mix well enough so everything is well combined. At the end, I like to, with a spatula, run against the bowl and make sure everything is mixed well together. And then I will beat it for just a few seconds and then turn off. Now if you're going to be serving your no bake cheesecake cups the same day or right after, then what I like to do is place this mixture while it's still in this bowl into the freezer and allow it to chill while I make the rest of the ingredients. If you're not serving it on the same day and the next day, then you don't actually need to do that because your no bake cheesecake cup will be sitting in the refrigerator. Next, let's go ahead and make our crust. We'll need half a cup of graham cracker crumbs and three teaspoons of melted unsalted butter. In a food processor or chopper, add in eight pieces of graham crackers and then blend them until they become crumbs like this. To 
the graham cracker, we're going to add in three teaspoons of melted unsalted butter. Mix this together until well combined. The consistency we're looking for is wet sand texture. Here's our filling, still sitting in the freezer and just chilling more. Lastly, we're going to chop all of our fruits. So I am chopping seven regular sized strawberries into dices or bite sized pieces. Cut five strawberries in halves. We are now ready to assemble our no big strawberry cheesecake cups. For the strawberry jam sauce, I'm going to pour this into a piping bag. I have some whipped cream that's in a piping bag, which I did not show in the video, but just any type of whipped cream you like to use to add to the top. And then this is our filling. Okay, and then here are my tumbler cups. And this is how they look like from the store. I bought it from Party City. There's 10 in them. So to each of these cups, I'm going to add in three teaspoons of the graham cracker mixture. And then you want to just shake and tap the cups onto the tray or onto the countertop, just so they're more level. The next layer will be our cream cheese filling. Squeeze in approximately one fourth to one third cup. The next layer will be our diced strawberries and the strawberry puree jam. So add in a spoonful of diced strawberries on top of the filling. And then next we're going to add in our strawberry jam puree. Add about two to three teaspoon on top. And then on top of the jam, I'm going to add a little bit more strawberries. Using the bottom of your spoon, press onto the strawberry and the jam sauce. That way the area is a little bit more flat. Pipe in a small amount of whipped cream on top. Use any type of whipped cream of your choice. To the top of the whipped cream, garnish it with half of a strawberry. You can also add mint leaves or anything of your choice. So this is how I made this no big strawberry cheesecake cups. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you'll give this recipe a try. If you have any questions, comment down below. Thank you.